In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to cash and internal controls. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. First question, which is not one of the goals of internal control system? A. Protect assets. B. Reliable accounting. 3. Adherence to policies. D. Return on investment. Or E. Efficient operations. So once again, we'll read the question, read through them, see if we can cross any out with the process of elimination. Question is, which is not one of the goals of internal control system? A. To protect assets. So the internal control system typically is going to achieve some objectives. We would think some of those would be positive objectives. Uh, protecting assets, I would think that that would be one of the core type of things that we want to do with internal controls. So I'm going to say it's not that one. B says reliable accounting. Um, again, that reliable record keeping might be more what we would think. So I'm going to leave that for now, but I think that, I mean, it sounds like a good goal. C, adherence to policies. So an internal control wants to help us adhere to policies. I think that's, I think that is an internal control system. So I'm going to say that's not it because that's true. D says return on investment. And that's a good thing, but I'm not sure that the internal control is really designed specifically for the return on investment. So I'm going to keep that for now. E says efficient operations. And I would think that internal controls would be a form of system that we're trying to put in place to have efficient operations. So I I'm going to cross that out. So we're left with B and D, reliable accounting and return on investment. So once again, the question, which is not one of the goals of internal control system? B, reliable accounting, or D, return on investment. And those are these are both two things that a company wants, of course. But the internal controls, I don't believe, is specifically designed for the return on investment. Whereas reliable accounting, that's kind of our goals here. So the internal controls, while return on investment is a goal of the company, and hopefully the internal controls don't uh, take away from that, <laughs> we, we typically are looking at the internal controls to do things like protect the assets, have reliable record keeping or accounting, to adhere to policy, and have, have the uh, efficient operations through the process which may lead to return on investments, but that's not typically the specific goal of, uh, of the controls themselves. Next question. Internal control system A. Eliminates the company's risk of loss. B. Monitors company and employee performance. C. Eliminates human error. D. Eliminates the need for audits. Or E. Eliminates the need for managers. So we're going to read through this one more time and see that if we can cross things off with the process of elimination. Internal control systems. Now if we think about internal control system and we just get an idea of what they are in our head, then it might help us to go through these and cross off certain information. So they're, they're going to help us to achieve certain goals. We want to safeguard the assets. We want to comply with policies and procedures with our internal control system. And uh, we, we want to make sure that we're in adherence with laws and regulations. And the internal control systems can help us to do that, help us to make better record-keeping processes. So uh, if we go through these, eliminate the company's risk of loss. Now, this one is pretty interesting because it says, when we say eliminate, that's, that's pretty definitive uh, of a statement. So I'm not sure any internal control could eliminate the, you know, a risk of loss. Yeah, so, so it might reduce a risk of loss. And that might be reasonable, but the word eliminate, I think, is really going to say, no, that's nothing is, is off the table, typically, with a loss could happen. B, monitors company and employee performance. That could be an internal control, so we'll, we'll keep that for now. C, eliminate human errors. And again, I think that eliminate word is really uh, a human error. It might reduce human errors greatly by having checks and balances and computer systems. So if it said reduce human errors, maybe uh, that would probably be good. But no, not eliminate. Eliminates the need for audits. And again, uh, you know, it probably doesn't eliminate the need for audits. We might have a, a nicer audit if we <laughs> if we have good internal controls. But I don't think so. And then E, eliminate the need for managers. Well, 
obviously the managers are going to be part of the internal control system. Uh, so I don't think that they're going to be within the process, not eliminating them. So I think clearly just that that word eliminates, uh, it pretty much eliminates four of the five choices. So I think B is going to be the answer here. Uh, question and answer, internal control system, B, monitors company and employee performance. Next question, if an internal control system is designed well, it, A, means we are not using a computer system, B, guarantees uh, profitable operations, C, eliminates the need for review, D, requires the use of non-computerized systems, and E, reduces the company's risk of loss. So I'm going to read through this one more time, see if we can eliminate some of the awesome options with the process of elimination. If an internal control system is designed well, it, A, means we are not using a computerized system. So an internal control system may, uh, you know, not use a computerized system, but a computerized system could be used as well within the, the control system and could benefit greatly to it. So I don't think it's that. B guarantees profitable operations. And again, that really definitive word of guaranteeing profits is not, it's not really the objective internal control to guarantee profits. It's not even the, really the, the objective to uh, to, to increase profits, likely it's really to safeguard, safeguard the assets and, and uh, safeguard against uh, losses oftentimes. Or it's probably going to be helpful for long-term uh, profits, but that's not really the specific objective of the internal controls. Really, the internal controls are really to improve the operations and monitor uh, the, the processes, which could inc increase assets, but it's no guarantee. C says eliminates the need for review. And again, a review process within internal controls is probably going to be part of the internal controls. And an external review uh, would not be necessarily eliminated from, uh, from good internal controls. So again, that eliminates word is probably dequalifying that. D requires the use of non-computerized systems. Uh, so, so again, uh, internal controls doesn't mean we're not using a computer. Uh, that We may have less of a paper trail with computers but we can adjust for that in some other ways so that's not it so e by the process of elimination seems like it's got to be it and it says reduces the company's risk of loss now let's so let's read that one more time if an internal control system is designed well it e reduces the company's risk of loss now note that if we just changed this word to eliminate the company's risk of loss it would not be correct but reducing the risk of loss could be an objective, especially if we're trying to safeguard ourselves in, against uh, assets being stolen or, or, or fraud. That could certainly uh, reduce the risk of loss. That's one of the objectives of the internal control system. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.